The Decent Biometric Wallet is a hardware cold storage wallet, which features biometric authentication. It's EAL5 Plus certified. It does use Bluetooth to communicate with your phone and the companion application on your phone. It does support iOS and Android. NFTs has a DAP browser and supports over 3,000 coins. Unlike many other hardware wallets, when you do a firmware update, you do not need to recover your wallet after the fact. Decent does list the coin support on their website, as you can see here, and they do have more than one product. We're talking about the biometric wallet, and so the first column here is what is relevant. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of real specific information available on their website. For example, they talk about how it has a large screen, but they don't tell you how large the screen is. There are no dimensions of the screen posted. But as you can see from the image on their website, it's not a particularly large device overall. So the screen itself can't really be all that large. It is probably larger than the screen on the SafePal S1, which is a 1.3 inch screen. Like some other hardware cold storage wallet manufacturers, Decent seems to overstate their security a little bit, where it reads, isn't it vulnerable to security when connected via Bluetooth? With exception to the publicly disclosed transaction data from the blockchain, all important data is processed inside the security chip in the biometric wallet. Therefore, even if the data transmission in the Bluetooth communication is tracked, the assets inside the cold wallet cannot be hacked. While I understand and follow that logic, when you say things like cannot be hacked, that in my opinion is irresponsible because nothing is 100% secure. You gotta remember guys, even places like the Pentagon gets hacked on occasion. So to think that you can go and spend under $200 on a hardware wallet and it's just invulnerable to hacks, that's just, that, that's just ludicrous. They go on to talk about how secure is Decent Wallet, what features are included to enhance security. Decent Wallet is a product made by top experts who have long worked in cryptographic chip and secure OS development. Credit card, banking card, USIM card, T, etc. have been developed for nearly 20 years and Decent Wallet is developed using security techniques learnt in the field. Using smart card security chip, credit card, and bank sector certified for security, for secure key storage and secure processing of transaction sign-in. Fingerprint algorithm is mounted on the smart card to process fingerprint information only within the security chip. Proprietary secure OS, which as I can't find anything on their website to the contrary, the Decent Wallet does not have an open source software. They also say that the Decent Biometric Wallet has been subjected to security inspection by a third party professional in security auditing, and you can check the contents here. Following the link to read more about the audit, it is apparently CoinSpec that audited the Decent Wallet back in 2020. And they essentially say that it passes the test. They found some issues, the issues were addressed, and these issues are now considered as resolved by the auditor. To be completely clear, this is not a 100% air-gapped wallet. It does not have a camera for QR code scanning either. The firmware update is performed by connecting the device to a personal computer. For those in possession of the OTG cable, the firmware update can be performed directly from the mobile phone, at least from the Android phone. iOS, which is iPhone, is not supported because OTG cable connection is not supported by Apple devices. I think that the decent wallet is in fact a decent choice. It is a little bit high priced in my opinion, given the features that it has, but it is certainly not one of the higher priced hardware wallets. And for anybody that doesn't want to deal with a pin code, the biometric fingerprint scanner might be just the ticket. And also like many wallets, you will have a 24 word seed phrase or monomic phrase or recovery phrase, however you want to think of it, but there will be a set of words that you will need to back up so that you can recover your wallet to a new decent wallet or any other wallet that supports a 24 word monomic seed phrase recovery system. I think the decent biometric wallet is 
probably best suited for anybody that either already owns a Ledger Nano X and is just looking to get away from Ledger now that they have built in a back door to their products, or somebody that was considering a Ledger Nano X but hadn't yet decided on purchasing one. We see here that the normal price of the decent biometric wallet is $159 US, but you can actually order it for $139. And that is a very similar price to the Ledger Nano X, which is currently $149. Personally, I'm not really that much of a fan of Ledger, mainly because of the back door and other customer data security breaches that Ledger has had in the past, combined with the, what is in my opinion, the relatively high cost of the Ledger wallets. Let us know what you think of the decent hardware wallet in the comments below.